Hi everybody. I just wanted to give some thoughts on today's homegoing funeral memorial service, whatever you want to call it, for the late Whitney Houston. It is February 18th, 2012. It's a windy Saturday afternoon here in Palmdale. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon, a little bit after. And uh, the funeral service was held at a church in Newark, New Jersey, where Whitney really first got noticed singing in the choir at her church. So it truly did come full circle. She did come home where it all started back in, what was it, 1983? Way back then, some 29 years ago. And it goes back a little bit. Um, I thought the service was really good. It was almost three and a half hours long from the time it started to the time it ended. It was about three hours and 20 some odd minutes. But there was a lot of emotion in it. There were a lot of good performers, a lot of good... New notification uh, from Boxer. Boxer, Vivian Dicas is talking. Oh, yeah, we know. Um, a lot of good stuff. A lot of good performers. And I hope I can find the whole thing on the Internet. Use the power of the Internet to... Um, to hopefully, I want to find that, and I want to find the documentary that 2020 did on Whitney Houston. It was a two-hour special from last night, last night's 2020, and I hope I can uh, find that, because that was also very well done. And Kevin Costner did a really good um, eulogy speech type thing where he talked about some of the stories, shared some of the moments that meant a lot between him and Whitney and his experience with her in the uh, on The Bodyguard, the movie The Bodyguard that she was a big hit in. So overall, it was, um, it was a good service. I hope that I can find the whole thing complete so that I can share it with people that missed it and just so that people that want to watch it again can be able to do so and um, I think it was well done a lot of people were criticizing it saying well gee they can broadcast the funeral of a singer but um, they don't do anything for our troops and stuff well I can't speak to that a lot of people say they shouldn't have been broadcast at all here's my thought the family I think did it right they didn't want to be overwhelmed with fans and whatnot, so they had a invitation only service with but they still gave the fans a chance to watch the service, which they did not have to do. And it's very rare to see one event broadcast on just about every news channel that's available. I haven't seen that, I don't think, since heck, even the even the rescue of the Chilean miners back in 2010 didn't get that kind of a couple of the news stations broadcasted it live but not gavel to gavel you know like full coverage uh, CNN had it uh, MSNBC I believe had it and ABC News had it there was if you wanted to watch it you had plenty of choices and uh, it's very rare to see an event that is broadcast nationwide like that on most all the major news networks. I think it was well done. I think the right decisions were made. And overall, um, I was pretty moved by the service. Like I said, so much so that I hope I can find the whole thing in its entirety to uh, be able to have in my collection. So those are my thoughts on the funeral of
Whitney Houston conducted today, Saturday, February 18, 2012.